Hello, good vibe fire tribe. Therese Firewoman here on Human Nature Monday. Hashtag Human Nature Monday. And uh, I am so incredibly happy to announce that Brooker Creek Park in Pinellas County, Florida, which is, by the way, one of the prettiest parks in Pinellas County, Florida. Um, even though all of their public facilities are closed, like the visitor center and that kind of stuff, the trails are open. How absolutely awesome is that? So I am filled with so much appreciation that spaces like this are still available to us. But you know what? Regardless, I would still walk out my front door. I would still hang out in my backyard. I would still walk down the street. Because one of the things that's been going around about uh, this lovely little bug that's out there, it doesn't like sunshine. Sunlight is good for us in general, and it also helps to dissipate and kill viruses. Imagine that. Hmm. That's something some redheaded chick's been talking about, like, forever. How nice that someone out there is verifying it from science. Anyway, just saying. So, my friends, I also want to say this for anyone out there, because... You know what? Like lots of people, freedom really, really matters to me. And like most people, I do not like being told what to do and where to go. But, 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 listen to me. Stay with me. When it comes to ensuring that other people, the world, my fellow brothers and sisters are safe, I absolutely, positively, definitely, no matter how much I value, you know, getting to go where I want to go, do what I want to do, if there's any of that, that would ever, ever, ever harm another human being, I would not do it. I am doing my outdoor time very much from a social distancing perspective, um, as you can see. <laughs> to make sure that I am not in any way, shape, or form, I, that I cannot contribute anything bad or pick up anything funky from anyone else. Before I leave the house, I wash my hands. I sanitize my hands. I get in the car. If I decide to leave the neighborhood, like I have today, I get in the car, I drive. When I get to where I'm going, I sanitize again. Then I come, then I step outside. If I see people, I give them a wide berth. That six to ten foot idea. I mean, and even, I mean, as you can see, how cool that I'm actually been able to give hello. It's just um, the trees and I at the moment, but I have seen some people go by on bicycles, walking around here, and actually families with some kids, bringing their kids to the great outdoors. How cool is that? Um, but 100% guys, just, I mean, my mission is to help people live life on fire and to empower and inspire. And so I would absolutely, positively never do anything that would endanger another human being. So I want to encourage you guys out there and a few of you guys that are like me who really, really value their freedom. Oh my gosh, a butterfly just flew right in front. I don't know if you saw that on camera. That was pretty awesome. That this is a time where cooperation and making peace with the current situation really is the best course of action right now. And you know what, guys? A lot of us who are have super crazy full schedules that normally are like meeting lots of people and running around and doing all kinds of things, there is actually a wave of freedom that, at least for John and I, my husband and I, that this has brought for us that 
we are not having to constantly jump and run and go and all of that kind of stuff. We actually have time to like clean our house <laughs> and do normal things, you know, which our, our lives have been so completely insane that we have barely been able to stay on top of doing the laundry. I mean, I know it's crazy, right? But this is giving us the opportunity to breathe a little more to be able to slow down, to be able to really put some love and some time into think the things that really have been calling, like our music has been called. I mean, I've probably written maybe close to 300 songs somewhere in that neck of the woods. I have, I have like, <laughs> terabytes of information I have this enormous book of songs that I just like scribbled on napkins I mean it's like this legion of babies that have been knocking at my door saying get in the studio get in the studio get in the studio and because of one reason or another we haven't been able to do that and now we have the chance to do that so already in our life in our experience we have discovered some really beautiful, powerful gifts already. And you know, it's so cool because I'm also hearing about other people who are being especially helpful and kind right now with each other, doing awesome things for each other. I mean, how cool is that? That is something that we've seen time and time again I know here in the United States when we had 9-11 all those years ago, I grew up in New York and I was born in Southern California. I grew up in the greater New York area in Brooklyn, Staten Island. And I remember going to New York City. I mean, of course, we loved going to New York City because Broadway is absolutely fabulous. And I'm just keep switching off my hands here because I don't have a rig. So this is all 100% uh, holding by hand. <laughs> so thanks for hanging with me. And I remember going to, you know, the Broadway shows and doing the shopping and all that. And the museums, which was absolutely fabulous. No place in the world like New York, baby. But back then, it was not a friendly place at all. You kept your eyes forward. You didn't make, I was taught to not make eye contact with anyone. I never got to see Central Park except from the outside because my mom was told me that it's not safe. You'll get raped. You'll get mugged, blah, 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 blah. And after 9-11, guys, it completely changed. New Yorkers came together in the most amazing way. And so in 2008, I went back to New York with my mom. Um, we went to go visit my aunt and uh, decided to go into the city. And while we were there, this was like kind of only a, a couple of years after Wicked, you know, was just kind of new. And we've always been big fans of the Wizard of Oz story. So we're like, we've got to go to Wicked. And I remember being in the city and being done by number one how clean it was because when I was growing up it was filthy just stinky and filthy and bleh. but it was clean it was beautiful there were people smiling making eye contact saying hello I was a I'm like, is this the same city? And then later on, you know, in, let's see, not last year, I think 2017, my husband and I took a little trip out there because he'd never been as an adult. And I got to see Central Park. <laughs> it was beautiful. And it was amazing. And the people were so incredibly nice and Oh, and actually, we even got a surprise while we were out there. We saw all these people gathered around a pond, and we're like, what's going on? And uh, this beautiful, I think it was a mandarin duck that mysteriously showed up in the city that people have been hunting, look, not hunting, you know what I'm saying, looking for so they could see with their eyeballs. 
and take their pictures uh, for a certain, you know, weeks, months. And when the first day that we were in the city, we wandered over to the pond and we saw the dude and we got pictures of him. It was amazing. So my very long story is proving the point that even in something as crazy and tragic as 9-11, there was this magnificent transformation that happened that brought about some incredible new things for the city of New York. And you know what, guys? This thing that's happening right now is affecting the entire world. So the fact that even at this early stage, people are coming together. I mean, not in person so much, obviously. <laughs> You're my little woodpecker friend. He's laughing at that. But people are doing some beautiful things for each other right now. There is so much kindness that's happening out there. There is so much love that's being put out there. I mean, again, yes, there's crazy crackhead stupid stuff too, and people are freaking out, and some people are going off the rails more than others. But again, it's all a matter of where you choose to put your focus. And we have seen so many beautiful things happening. It's just, and, and just, I, re I actually woke up yesterday, looked out the window, sat on a, got, went ahead and got out and sat on, on the porch. And I just felt this wave of just deep appreciation for where I get to be, for what I get to see, for all of my needs being covered. I know that we just, we followed our gut and our guidance and we stocked up and got some food and toilet paper early on. So we, you know, were able to cover, you know, our bases there. Um, we've got wine, <laughs> important stuff. Um, but wow, guys, you know, just if you listen, continue to listen to your inner guidance, you will always have what you need. You'll always find what you need. You'll always be in the right place for you. Ah, <sighs> so. I'm going to wrap it up here because I've been chatting with y'all for a while and we got some peeps coming so I want to respect their privacy. But in, actually I think they're, they're heading this away so I will let them pass. <laughs> Hello! And I'm filming this way guys so you're good. You guys enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it's so nice to see families out here. Kids being exposed to nature is, that is so freaking awesome. So anyway, my friends, just want to remind you that it is human nature to enjoy the journey. But there is always a way back to joy and back to well-being. And if you're going to be outside, out and about, be respectful, be kind, be responsible. And uh, here's to remembering that we are on a path of evolution and upgrade that we have as a collective consciousness summoned an upgrade for humanity like we have never seen. And any kind of quantum leap is not normally a light and fluffy thing, unfortunately, because it's asking for big changes to happen now, for a lot to happen all at one time. But we as humanity have decided that it's time for a change and we have called um, a, an experience to ourselves to help us to orchestrate that. So. It's just a matter once we ride through this, friends, once we come out the other side, <laughs> we're going to rise. We're going to see some beautiful strides being made. We're going to see some amazing changes. We're going to get some answers to questions. 
find some solutions that we've been looking for. A lot of new things coming in. So hang tight, my brothers and sisters out there. All is well. Good things are happening. And you can. Now, every day, and always. Enjoy this journey of life. And live life on fire.